Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and this is episode 5 of my Minecraft Xbox One slash PS4 Hardcore Let's Play, where I'm making a Let's Play where I play on Hardcore, which is just hard difficulty, but with one life. So if I die, I have to delete the world, which will make me a little bit sad. So yeah, we're playing for playing for the world and for Toy Cat's happiness, or something like that. And uh, the first thing we're going to be doing this episode, before we get into the main thing, oh, he's right over there, is uh, we're going to go find the villager. He usually hides in ridiculous places, because he's the only villager left. He has no more friends, which uh, I'd understand hiding at that point. So let's see if he's given new trade he is so now we can oh we can actually buy a compass off him if we can't make one ourselves i don't actually remember the crafting units for a compass but you need one for a map so yeah if that doesn't work then we'll do that but yeah i figured we uh while the village is still here because he's gonna disappear we are like i don't know why but i went mining i got quite a bit of iron and i you know i found some redstone just general that's why i'm level 23 right now uh but yeah so i went mining and uh, when i came back all the villagers were just gone even though they're in the safest house and there's no possible way to get them out because like it's above ground uh they just they all escaped somehow so that made me a little bit upset but whatever so um i guess we only have one villager now hopefully he can breed because or, like i don't know if, like one villager can breed or if you actually need to uh villagers are these really really weird things in minecraft that no one really understands everyone's just like yeah i i kind of get that and uh, yeah so <laughs> we're gonna just go, uh, do a quick harvest of the sugarcane farm uh i've really been expanding it between episodes because i figured i'd uh, do some lot of stuff and uh, oh wow yeah as you can see we've got I don't know how far out this goes, but it's at least 100 blocks or so, so <laughs> that's maybe 200 pieces of sugarcane, and this is going to go all the way down to the Mushroom Island, because I want a bridge there, and let's make it out of sugarcane, maybe. <laughs> I, I miss the days back when you used to be able to climb on sugarcane, I think that was just a bug in the game on the very first release of Minecraft, Xbox 60, but you used to be able to jump on sugarcane, and it was ridiculous and pointless, but it was cool, so, <laughs> and that's, that's all that really matters in the world, right, so... We're going to turn it into paper, and we're going to hopefully, yeah, we're going to sell a lot more. We're probably going to make him run out of offers, and then we'll move on to the main thing we're doing this episode. So, you might notice my inventory is full of loads of stuff, and this is my cleaned out inventory. So, uh, like, I went mining for lots of stuff, and now my chest is just this big mess, and it needs some working on. So, I figure I'm going to, like, have a chest house, and it's going to, you know, store all the chests in. Oh, okay, we got nine uh, out of him. That wasn't too bad, to be fair. Is he going to give us another trade? No, we're going to have to sell compasses to this guy, if we actually want to go any further. And... I'm, I can't say that's a deal I like the sound of, so I think what we'll actually do is we're probably going to lock him in this little fence right here. So we're going to try and just, uh, I, I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try and just nudge him over there into those fences. Oh wow, this is easy. <laughs> you just got to sprint into him over and over again, and uh, once we get him in there, we're going to lock him safely inside because we don't want our villager being hurt. So uh, yeah, let's now quickly put a front door on, except the front door is actually just going to be, I don't know, some two blanks. There we go, now the village is safe. I, I don't think there's any way in or out of there, logically or otherwise. And yeah, now the village is safe. And look how happy he is. That's the happiest I've ever seen a villager. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to work, start working a chest house. But to do that, because uh, I'm going to use my chest design. If you've watched my videos for a while, uh, you know, like I like in my big creative videos world, I made this massive life-size chest. I want to do something like that, but I'm going to be using wood because I don't really have access to orange ball. Uh, and I fire a cool, uh, like because I want to use spruce wood. Uh, I believe there is a snow biome just to the... I guess east of the spawn uh, because they're like there was two options I could either go through the jungle at spawn or I could go through the snow biome it might be a desert biome but I'm I'm like 70% sure it's a snow biome. So we can go over there. We're going to chop down a lot of spruce trees. And then we're going to use these oak wood planks. Or actually we can convert them on the way. Uh, we're going to use a lot of oak wood planks for the main piece of wood. So like spruce trees will be the outline. And then oak wood will be the inside. And I'm hoping it looks good. And I'm going to do something, you know, kind of interesting for that. Because I want to slowly craft like a village of like... Instead of having one big house where every room is separate, something separate. I'm going to have like kind of like a village where every house is something separate. So I'll have like a furnace. Uh, like a, you know, or not a furnace house. That's, that's another let's play idea but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have a house that just is you know for furnaces I'm gonna have a house for brewing potions then I'm gonna have the village like the embassy village in there and hopefully it will have more villages because I'm gonna try and convert some villages and yeah I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do some cool stuff like that I really want to eat this like I know it pushes me out the boat and uh, that's not good also this again <laughs> still don't un you can even do this out of sight actually it doesn't look quite as ridiculous here but yeah uh, let's look forwards and actually do this then uh so yeah as you can see i was actually correct there is indeed a snow biome it's a very beach snow biome so like when i figured it was either a snow biome or a desert i was i was correct on both fronts i guess there was either one of two things and it's pretty much a combination uh like it's really just a beach but like it, it looks like a 
Also, again, be careful not to crash this boat, because we need it for the ride back. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, we've now got this. We'll also explore it a little bit as we chop down trees, because, you know, just chopping down every tree you see isn't fun. You chop down the good trees. You'll, you'll take home the good trees for Christmas. So, uh, yeah, let's let's find the healthiest trees, and let's chop those ones down. Uh, so, mm, let's let's get... Oh, this tree... No, nah, that's, that's a little... Not enough leaves. Uh, so, I think this tree here, it's a nice, health, nice healthy tree. We'll try and chop it down. Actually, we probably won't succeed. But, see, uh, I think I might have mentioned this last episode, but tree, spruce trees are super tall and chopping them down okay we did it we did it so we're gonna need roughly i think it's like 14 by 14 so we're gonna need something like a stack or so of spruce wood i mean the more i get the less i have to come back here i could probably just take a sapling with me that would probably be just about the same effect but you know what? that's that's uh, too logical for me so uh yeah these we, we, we've picked two trees so far they've both been pretty good but let's head further into the uh biome first uh, let's not hurt the environment too much, and let's see what's going on there. So, actually, should we make some shears? Let's make some shears. Because um, I want to go for the, uh, also the, uh, like, all 16 colors of war achievement soon, because I've got Lapis Lazuli now. It's not on me, so I can't actually prove that, but um, I do have Lapis Lazuli now, because I found some while I was underground, and I think that and Squid Ink are the only, like, kind of difficult to get, like, dyes. So now it's just a match. Oh, actually, Cactus Green. But yeah, so... Uh, it's not actually going to be too difficult from here on out, so let's just break our way through here. I would use the shears, but I just don't want spruce leaves in the slightest. Uh, hello, pig. Goodbye, pig. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a really big fan of this snow. I'm like, maybe it's because I'm just seeing it from a completely different perspective than you usually do, but it's just it's this nice cross between hills and not hills. <laughs> oh, a black sheep. We need to take his wool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to chop down one of these trees here, because look at this. This is the perfect tree. I'm not sure why it's the perfect tree. It's it's honestly hard to say, but we're taking it with us. It's, uh, it's oh, it's only four high. It's a baby tree. You don't even get regular trees that small. And I got a spruce tree that big. That's impressive to say the least. Um, it's gonna be difficult to get my boat back, so I might just make another one. I've got a lot of wood, as you might notice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's let's actually check how much we've got now. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it in our inventory so we can keep an eye on that. So we've got only thirty so far. As I said, we need at least a stack to even get started. Uh, so. We, we could probably head back and find some saplings, but we'll start going for the manic, just chopping down trees mode now, because that's something that probably should be done. Uh, so, like, I was I was thinking, like, because uh, I saw a picture of a supermarket from, like, the US that looked exactly, like, I was convinced that it was, uh, like, somewhere from, like, where I live, and I was like, wait a minute, that's just, that's just all supermarkets look the same. And don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not being an idiot and, like, assume that, but I just genuinely assumed that in America, they had, like, a different kind of feel to them, and, like, all supermarkets are exactly the same worldwide, and that feels like a little bit of a cop out to me like I I, don't know, I feel as though like the default supermarket design which is just all the aisles you know like let's say tw 20 aisles for a big supermarket I feel like that's a pretty you know redundant and not really great design so I, I was thinking how could we make the supermarket way cooler so uh, my first idea was like so we make it so that when you find something you're so happy that you found it you don't care about the price so uh, like if you like make it a labyrinth like a full on like you gotta remember if you want to get to the you know the Cheerios, you gotta take two lefts of right, and then you've also gotta go uh, up the stairs, for instance. I I think that would be cool. I don't think anyone would enjoy that besides me, but <laughs> I still think they should do it because that's that's how the world works. If if you enjoy something, the world does it, right? Right? Uh, that is a really nice little thing, my life. See, this is what I like about that uh, discovering the world in survival. You get to find some really nice looking stuff that you might not notice otherwise. Uh, so we're gonna take this. Whoa, four high sugar again. That's always nice. It only spawns naturally, by the way. Uh, there's no way to get sugarcane to grow for high. Uh, let's chop down one more tree. Because, you know, one more tree. There's, there's a song about this. <laughs> one more tree. I, I don't honestly know what the song I'm mocking is, but I'm, I'm sure it's good. So we're going to jump up like free high. If this is like, yeah, there we go. So now we've got a stack and a bit, so we can say we were more than prepared. I think we also got, a, yeah, we got two spruce trees. And I think that's all we need, really. Um... Like, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll be regretting saying that in a second, but for right now, that's pretty good. So let's let's just throw this egg on the ground and hope we don't get chicken. Okay, well, thank you, chicken. Had to prove me wrong, so <laughs> let's make ourselves a craft table right here. I'll probably never be back here, so this was it was nice seeing you, Snowbine, and it was nice seeing you, chicken, but I can't take you back in my boat, I'm afraid. So, yes, adventure. Oh, we've actually gone just outside the edge of the world here. I didn't realize that. Well, I, I accidentally broke a rule. That's bad. I'm going to have to punish myself now. I'm not sure how I can punish myself, but... <laughs> and saying punish yourself sounds like you're going to do concerning things. And I'm not going to do concerning things. Well, wait. 
I guess any form of punishment to yourself is concerning. Whether it's a concerning punishment or not, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, I figured what I'd do is I'd load up a couple uh, would you robbers because they're all, it's they're called like would you evers on the website. Like there's there's one really good website would you robbers and like it's got this really weird uh, name. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> basically uh, I figured I'd do a couple would you robbers uh, just to throw them in the middle here because that's something that's like it's it's almost a staple of my let's plays. It's something that I really kind of like. So. Um, would you rather be forced to attend school for your entire... Is, is that the same jungle template? Oh, it is. Um, <laughs> would you rather be forced to school attend school for your entire life? That's, uh, that's like 80 years, I guess. Or however long you live, I guess. Or be forced to marry your distant cousin. I guess that's also for your entire life. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, assuming that this is in a world where I'm not currently dating someone... Uh, the, the the distant cousin thing, assuming there's like some fourth option, it's not just okay, we pick a cousin, there you go. Uh like because I bet like so like first cousins, probably not a good idea. Second cousins, still in the realm of not really a great idea. But once you go beyond that and you don't even have any idea who they are, like I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I, I, that might be a very deep South America opinion to have, but also just look how long that sugarcane line goes. And uh, we're still only just getting started on that, so that's good. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get boats across that, by the way. I guess I just won't. I'll have boats on one side and boats on the other. Maybe we can make a boat ramp. I wonder if you can make boat uh, like bridges. Like, I don't know. It's not really a bridge if it's for boats. But, you know, I'd, I'd like to make one anyway, so we're going to have to slow down. You know, let's just get out and let the boat break. We've got enough boats anyway, right? And somehow, there's an egg and a piece of sugar cane here. Didn't... What what happened? And also some... I guess this is just stuff I left behind, but still. So now we're going to quickly check on the villager. We're going to see where he stays. Oh, wait, yeah, of course he's going to stay just fine in this house. Yeah, I, I did a good job. So I think if you look just uh, behind there... Yeah, there's a zombie trying to get in. So, bad zombie. He does actually care about me. Look, it's brilliant. Um... So there we go, just finish him off. And we're also going to light this place up, just because I want it to like be a place where villagers can spawn if they want to. So we're going we're gonna to make that a thing. So I'll just place a couple torches there and there. Place a torch there, and that should be enough light for now. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously get more light in a second, but... <laughs> I love the just bricked up house. So I've got to keep him safe from the uh, zombie plague. So I'm also going to light up all of this place. I want to just have like uh, mobs not be a concern for me, because on hardcore, even like if you're really careful, or not if you're careful, but if you're, if you're reckless, uh, even with like full diamond armor, you can still get kind of wrecked. Oh, if you're reckless, you get wrecked. Oh. So yeah, we've got to... Oh, wow. Um, hello, skeleton. Had to follow into my own house. This is my own private domicile, and I will not be harassed. <laughs> As yeah, let's go to sleep, and let's work on the uh, actual house we've just been getting all the materials for, because uh, yeah. I'm I'm really proud that I found uh, my snow biome all by myself, or a uh, icy biome. I forget exactly what the game calls them. So I guess we're gonna do it just. We need some a relatively flat piece of land, uh, and I think just here's fine. I mean, no, the sugar cane is good, but I, I, I might want a separate sugar cane thing. So I guess we're just gonna start it on this hill, and the, or around this hill. Then we could flatten the hill as we go. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So we'll start with a block here. Yeah, we made we made our progress on this. So uh be sure to tune in next episode and like the video. Oh yeah, but let's do this. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can't really go too far that way, so we'll make this the end block there. So that's this is eleven. And then we'll just go two more blocks this way, I guess. So uh, that's gonna be difficult actually. I guess we have to do it from above, maybe? Yeah, so twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll check the numbers and oh, is that a creeper? Like, that's a creeper. <laughs> so now I've lost count if it destroyed a block or not. But yeah, let's just uh, let's keep counting from here then. So we're going to need to use the shovel a little bit just for the edges here. And, you know, eventually we'll just blow up the inside or something. We'll probably use TNT. TNT is a really fun thing to use. Um, but yeah, so let's go this way. And let's do it. So we've got two. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we'll go couple more blocks and there that's 14 so now we just need to count 14 that way and we'll make it a full-on square and then we can start working on the inside so this is like the outline of the chest house kind of thing so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i was making sure i didn't miss mess up because uh I don't know, like, uh, I, a while back in one of my videos, I had this big thing where I started counting, and I just went, like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, 17, and, like, I didn't notice for, like, <laughs> I could tell, like, it was, it was this was a long time ago, I think, just after the 360 version came out. Uh, I, just by the way, a lot of people don't know this, but, like, I think I might be, 
like like I, I am one of like the very few earliest like 360 YouTube like console YouTubes I guess uh, because I just started recording the 360 version because like oh that's something I could do I guess also I didn't keep count here so let's just assume that this is perfect um, and yeah we, we know where that's gonna end we get the point so now let's start work on actually stacking up some so this is gonna go 14 blocks up but we don't need to do that perfectly right now but two three four and now we're kind of trapped up here so we'll actually start using all of this these wood planks and these are gonna be like the actual walls of the thing like the non outline if I guess the the yeah the main blocks so uh, we'll just uh, stack these up like so and I'm hoping that this will give a look yeah that, that you get like the really kind of dark outline and then the light inside and it looks kind of like a chest I could show you a chest oh wait let's kill the skeleton first he's gonna have oh, wow because <laughs> he's gonna uh, harass me otherwise and there we go from so but oh uh, yeah let's quickly just show you a chest and you'll get the kind of point so you got two kind of wood types you got the really light wood type you get a really dark dark not dark. <laughs> you got a really dark outline and then you got some white wool there that I'm probably gonna stack on there myself anyway and then once we've got this uh, chest house we can actually organize our stuff so we can have a cobblestone chest we can get that achievement by the way uh, we can you know, we can have a, uh, I lost my mind, but, uh, yeah, we can have, like, a dirt chest, we can have a sugarcane chest, we can have, like, an ender pearl chest, we probably, well, we could probably, like, you know, group that up with something else, but, yeah, I, I'm thinking it's gonna be cool, so, now we're here, we can stack, uh, so we'll go, oh, I've lost count entirely, so, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just stack from here, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it might only go up to ten, so I'm gonna, leave it at 8, it might even go up to 9, I don't know the exact numbers, but uh, yeah, let's quickly just leave this at 8, and then we'll we'll work on it from there, so <laughs> uh, I'm hoping by the end of this episode we can at least have like uh, one solid wall, so it makes you know, some resemblance of sense uh, that's, that's just the aim, I mean it's a, it's an unnecessarily high goal, <laughs> so yeah, we'll just, uh, oh we, we don't need anything on the corner, so we'll just move that sh oh wow, <laughs> uh, so let's make ourselves a lot more planks and yeah, as you can see, if you look this. Uh, I, I realize I'm going very wood heavy, but it's because it's early game, we don't have access to many materials. Uh, it's it's starting to get that kind of chest look, hopefully, if you know what you're looking for. So I guess not really at all. Um, and we'll use this last nine spruce wood we have to actually finish below here. So there, there, and there. And then we'll also start stacking up, I guess. Um, and we'll also plant the spruce trees. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take some damage on this full down, so just let's just brace ourselves for that. So, ah, so two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven's the spruce wood. And uh, yeah, hopefully we should have this first. We're going to take some damage as we pull off this, but it's worth it. Um, if we just speed build this now, we should get our first uh, kind of progress thingamajig done. So now the entire thing is at eight blocks tall. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a ninth block or a tenth block, or both blocks, but yeah, we d that's all we know right now, and let's give this a look from an outsider perspective, and also let's, you know, dirt it up if we need to, uh, so actually, yeah, let's, let's do that, just, you know, for basic design reasons, okay, so now let's give this a look, let's see where we are, so as you can see, it kind of gets that chest feel, I think the dirt underneath it makes it kind of ugly, I might make it a floating chest if that makes it better, but yeah, it kind of, it kind of is a little bit ruined by that, uh, I wonder if I can work on that. But yeah, that's going to be my chest house. It's going to have inside lots and lots and lots of chests, and it's going to be good. In fact, we can probably work on the lots and lots and lots of chests right now. You know, we probably shouldn't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll finish that, or uh, like, you know, get a lot of stuff done between episodes, uh, as well as have some spruce, because I need some spruce trees. And then we're also going to hopefully make a. You know, let's make a compass now. That, that's one thing we'll do this uh, episode, at least. Um, so let's take out our iron. Let's pull in more bacon, or. Yeah, I guess it's pork chop, so bacon. And I guess we need a single piece of redstone. You know, I should look at the crafting recipe. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not where you need your redstone. So a compass is... Oh, it is four iron and a redstone. So I can make one of those. And then a map is that surrounded by paper. So I can officially go make a map off another part of the world. And I might go do that. Uh, I'm not sure which part yet. Uh, I like this map being having that little dolphin outline in it, like down there. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got so far. So I hope you enjoyed episode 5 of the Hardcore Let's Play. I think next uh, episode I'll be either finishing that or I'll be uh, like doing some diamond slash emerald mining because, uh, you know, I've got 7 emeralds so far. I need 23 more and I don't think, you know, if I have to buy them off that villager, it's not going to do me a whole bunch of good. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to have to go find another villager that will buy our paper off us. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, we're, we're going to do a whole bunch of things, hopefully. Uh, still going for all the achievements, and we're getting a little bit close every episode. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like it, liked it. Share it if you really liked it. And um, 
yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd marry my cousin. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, and here's an outro.